Now we'll start with the past. And we have the tower card. Now the tower card, with that, it basically means that you're trying to hold on too tightly to the status quo, which can be very disastrous now. Rolling with, roll with the changes. It is likely that some people's situations that you have counted on as being there for you may no longer be there in quite the same way. This doesn't have to be dire. Change is the nature of life and trying to prevent it is like trying to row upstream without a paddle. If you have been building castles in the air, this may be the time that some of them came crashing down to earth. That's only a problem if you let it be. You will be able to replace them with some more realistic and reachable dreams and goals if some fantasies fall apart or have fallen apart. Dreaming is important, but it's also important to be living in reality too. And that card is paired with the Four of Wands. Now the Four of Wands often indicates that you may be attending a special event which will be way more fun than you're anticipating. So go and have a good time. Business is likely to be going very well at this time. You will be proud of yourself and others will be proud of you. Although this is a very positive card in a reading, it shows also a need to keep up your wits about you. Although you deserve and should treat yourself to some fun, but know that you are still in a building up phase. And now is not the time to rest completely on your laurels. This card can also sometimes mean that you will be moving your place of residence. So basically with these two cards, roll with the changes that come your way. Try to attend any special events, outings, and always remember to have fun. And that's in your past. Now we'll go on to the present. Now, with the present, we start with a devil card. So no matter what your situation is, that you always have options. Remember that. You always have options to choose from. First things first, don't let other people tell you that your options are limited. If you come to the conclusion, if you come to that conclusion, be sure that you are coming to it on your own terms. Okay, so regardless, it will be crucial to remember that you can free yourself from whatever restrictions are holding you back. At this time, you can do that if you choose to do so. You may have the feeling now that you are not in control of your life. Sometimes this happens as a result of your own actions but more often as a byproduct of inaction. So take action, take whatever steps you can to give yourself the feeling, however slight, of being in control. Even if that is merely making a choice on what you are going to have for dinner, any small steps are important too. Okay, so that card is paired with the star card, okay? When the star card appears, you are likely to find yourself feeling inspired. And you will be feeling rather more hopeful about the future than you have in quite a while. You will also feel more confident that your needs, whatever these are emotional or financial needs, or both, will be met. Nothing can be taken for granted, of course, but it's unlikely that your confidence is misplaced. It's unlikely that your confidence is misplaced. This is also a very spiritual card, and you may find yourself, at least for a time, feeling 
at one with all creation. It's not a it's not a common feeling, so make sure you enjoy it and you savor it. So basically, with these two cards paired together, you might be feeling you are not in control of your life, but with the star card, this takes a sudden change of feeling, rather inspired, confident, and more hopeful about many things, including the future. And that's in the present. Now we move on to the challenge. The challenge we start with the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, this card is this card can indicate that you will be spending time, money, and energy on your home. It could be it could be work getting it to be a more comfortable place. This is a good thing, provided you don't take on too much debt. People will be looking to you for insight and or either advice. You will be able to help them if you are so inclined. This is a time period when you can get a lot accomplished. And this card is paired with the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so with the Wheel of Fortune... This card reminds us that this too shall pass. Whether that's good times or bad times, it passes. If suddenly you find yourself sitting on top of the world, keep your perspective as that too, like everything else, changes. Live in the now, count your blessings, and just realize that much of life is outside of your control but that even that is okay roll with any changes and think positive so with those two cards the queen of pentacles and the will of fortune you'll be getting out you'll be getting a lot accomplished Basically, that's what it's saying. And just remember to roll with any changes, count your blessings, and always think positive. Now that's your challenge, and we're going to move on to the outcome. The outcome is the Five of Cups, which is another card that reminds us that where we put our focus in life has a great deal to do with the quality of our lives and how well they work for us. What are you going to choose to focus on? The implication is extremely clear. Are you going to cry over spilt milk? Or are you going to focus on the milk you still have and get on with things? The point is, watch where you put your focus and make sure that the focus is for your highest good. And we have that card paired with the strength card. Now the strength card, it's important now for you to, to make time to meditate, contemplate, and spend some time alone even if you are in a committed relationship and have many children. Do not allow yourself to spend time in preoccupation and fear. Outward things will be going all right, but what is of the most paramount importance is keeping your head on straight. Not only do you have the ability, you have the responsibility to conquer your fears, control your impulses, and never lose patience with yourself or what you're doing. So with these two cards paired together, just remember to watch where you put your focus and make sure it's for your highest good and that it's not preoccupied with fear. And that's your outcome. 
Okay, Aries, thank you so much for watching, and I hope it's a great month for you.